Well, good morning, friends. Today is gonna to be a little bit different as I am kidless for about eight hours today. So I thought I'd just share with you what I get to do today as just me, all alone. I have to do some things here at the house, make a dessert and a side salad for a supper going to tonight. I have to go up to our city and run errands to Costco and Aldi, maybe hit up a thrift store, of course, or some rummages. But I thought you might enjoy seeing what I get to do as some time with just myself. So we're gonna just start our day here and see what we need to get done. All right, so little tasks got done. I got my marketplace orders all shipped. I just got some mail done, and now I'm gonna make my strawberry mulberry crisp. This is a go-to recipe for me. Easy desserts, I use it for every fruit, apple, peach, just plain strawberry. So it's gonna be really simple to make and easy for a dessert tonight. So let's make that. So it looks like I need to pick some of my lettuce in the aquaponics and some kale. such a beautiful day I had to come out and enjoy my flowers before I take off to the city isn't this just beautiful and it's such a peaceful calm day out here All right, so Costco is always a crazy place to go to, and I was gonna get gas, but it was about 10 long per um, gas filling station. So I'm at Aldi now. I'm gonna go in and get a few more things, and then of course by myself, I'm gonna go get a good coffee and go in, and maybe I'll even sit down. I don't know, but I do know I want to find a few thrift stores to hit up to. So it's weird not having the girls with me for sure. It just 
it's really convenient not having to fill the cart with stuff and little girls and monitor someone a little one walking next to you so it makes doing errands a lot lot easier So the car is full of groceries in the back and I got my wonderful almond extract latte. Cafe Rotisserie has some beautiful flavors for their coffees. Really good flavors. So now it's time to hit up one of my favorite thrift stores, 605, or favorite antique stores, 605 Antique. is right next to a savers so I'm gonna pop in there and see if I can find a few things that I had on mine to look for and then it's time to head home. thought I'd just share with you a quick haul of what I got from Costco and Aldi. I probably only make it to Costco once a month, so I wanted to stock up on a few things that we enjoy and just some convenient type foods and then just some of our normal things we get from Aldi as well. All right, so carrots for from Costco and then some bananas from Costco. We eat a lot of bananas every week. Grapes are from Aldi. They were on sale and my daughter and husband love them. Sweet potatoes. Got some of those. Strawberries were on sale. I'd been freezing some of those because they're so affordable right now since it's strawberry season. Freeze them to make like the crisp and jams with. Pineapple was really affordable on that. I cut up and freeze sometimes too. Um, these tomatoes look delicious and we love little tomatoes from Costco. And I bought a couple mangoes from Aldi. I always get peppers. I get a couple frozen packs of vegetables every time I go just because they're super convenient to pull out sometimes for my little one and then berries were really affordable at Aldi too so I stocked up on those because I will freeze some blueberries as well and then I got some whole mushrooms I eat those every morning and then cucumber let's see oh broccoli florets are for tonight's broccoli salad and then spinach 
I bought some of that from Costco because my spinach is done in the season. It's too hot now. Um, got some nuts. This is for the broccoli salad tonight. And then almonds I didn't realize were so cheap at Costco. And it has a little rip in the bag, so I'll have to put them in something else. But really affordable for almonds at Costco. Let's see what else. Um, we'll move over here, I guess. So onions, red onion, I needed some of that for tonight. And neither place sold just one onion. So I had to get the whole bag. I always get cheeses at... Aldi so we really like the Havarti cheese and then just some other ones for easy slicing then of course the Parmesan and oh I always get goat cheese from Costco it's so good we love goat cheese on our pizzas then I thought I would try this yogurt from Costco it's the same price as like the organic smaller version at Aldi I know this is non-fat I would like whole fat but we'll give it a shot and then just one cottage cheese some avocados um, deli ham. Oh, there's my other mushroom. Um, let's move over here. This is more like the processed foods. I just needed some baking soda. Chocolate chips because I've been doing chocolate chip cookies for our guest over at our little cottage. And so it's nice to have a bulk supply. And that's why I also got some more butter for making those cookies. Just an extra loaf of bread. Sometimes if I don't have sourdough, which I usually do, it's easy to pull out. Um, I always have coconut oil, extra coconut oil on hand. Always have oats. They didn't have rolled, so I did get quick this time. These crackers are really good. We love the sweet potato crackers. And then sometimes these are just my husband likes cereal sometimes before bed. And then these, I thought I'd give them a shot. I couldn't find the fig bars like I usually get, but I think these are probably better for you anyways. And my daughter loves fruit chews, so I got those. We'll see how those go for her. I think she'll really enjoy them. I'm moving her on the table here. So we have our espresso machine, so we always buy these, this brand. We like this um, roast a lot better than others, so I got two of those. And then I just wanted some healthier spray other than Pam. And this will be for the dessert tonight. I wanted to try these out. I thought my family would enjoy those. And then just two more things. So I got Zevias. We really like these Zevias. I used to get the um, carbonated waters from Aldi, but my husband said they just don't cut it for him anymore. So we got those. And then just some all-purpose flour, like I said, for baking more cookies and such. So I did pick up one whole gallon of milk because that's nice to have in the freezer. We do get raw milk from a local dairy but sometimes in a pinch, it's nice to have that. And then I also got all of that meat. We got 30 pounds of ground beef from a friend who raises um, beef cattle. There they have beef cattle and it's organic raised. So super great price, two per pound. So it's nice having those friends and those local farmers who you can get things from. And then I just also got an Aldi pizza. Sometimes those are also nice in a pinch. There's the haul. I have about an hour before I get my girl. So I'm gonna put all of this away Maybe put that salad together and see what else I need to get done before I get my girls. So got the broccoli salad with some of the homegrown broccoli and then the store-bought. And then I'll add the bacon bits, or my home cured bacon, and then some of the sunflower seeds before we serve it. I forgot to share what I picked up out thrifting and antiquing. This I got at Savers, it's too cute. I don't even know, it's just made in Brazil it says, but it's just a cute white picture for almost three. And then this booth was 50% off, so I got this beautiful oil lamp. And the wick isn't even burned. It had $5 on it originally. I want to be careful here. But it was 50% off. So I paid $2.50 for that. It's really pretty. Okay, then just this little guy. I thought that'd be really cute to store pods in for our little Airbnb cottage for laundry. Or you could put coffee pods in there. Or you could put baking soda, laundry detergent, whatever. Powder, laundry detergent. Super cute for... Like I said, that one was 50% off, so $1.50. 
I thought I'd quickly throw together some cut flowers for the friend we're going to see to bring just as kind of a fun little gift for her and her family. All right, got all my stuff food packed up in here, ready to go with my flowers, and we'll head out for supper. Well, we are back from our friends, and we had a wonderful meal of some home-raised chicken legs that were freshly butchered, some fried potatoes, my broccoli salad, and the dessert. So also a great just time of fellowship, but it is about 9.20, girls have been down for a little bit and it's time to work on a little project in our basement for some food storage shelves we're putting together and putting some liners on. But I will call it a vlog here. I hope you enjoy coming along with me today and have a blessed and wonderful day. Mm -hmm.